Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can get a partition in Windows 10. Let's say you have a single partition on your hard drive like this and you have stored all your files, personal data, documents, programs and more in this single partition. So instead of storing all your data in a single partition, let's say you want to create a new partition like this where you can keep your files safe and organized. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to create a new partition like this and you can start storing and organizing all your files in the new partition. Okay, it's going to be very quick and easy. Now before we get into the video, I have a message for you. Now this video is not sponsored, but it is supported by those of you guys who have purchased our courses and our ready-made website templates in MakeAWP. You can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description. So let's get started. I'm Brand from Website Learners and let's start creating a partition in Windows. So to create a partition, click on File Explorer and it will open this window. Here you can see that we only have one drive and you can also see the free space which you have on your drive. Now we are going to convert some of this free space into a new partition. Okay, now to create a new partition, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to decide how much space you want for the partition. So to do that, let's right click on the C drive, click properties, then you will get this window. Now here you can see that we have used 600 GB on the C drive and the free space available on the drive is 350 GB. We can create a new partition only out of this available space. So let's decide how much space we want for the new partition. Now in the future, you might install new programs on your C drive. So you need to have a good amount of free space for it. So let's keep around 150 GB of free space on our C drive and we can use the remaining space to create the new partition. So out of 350 GB of free space, we are going to create a new partition of 200 GB. So let's close this. Okay, once you have decided how much space you want for the new partition, we can go to the next step, which is to create a new partition. So to create it, just right click on this PC, click manage, then it will take you to this computer management area. Now click disk management. This is the place where we are going to create a new partition. Here you can see the hard disk and these are the partitions we have on our computer. Now these two partitions which are small in size are created by default and used for proper functioning of windows. Also you can see the C drive which we have here. Now to create a new partition, first we need to reduce the size of the C drive and then we are going to use this space for the new drive. So to reduce the size, let's right click on the C drive, click shrink volume, then you will get this pop up. Now to create a new partition, here you need to enter the amount of space which we have decided to keep for the new partition. So out of 350GB, we have kept 150GB of free space for the C drive and then 200GB for the new partition. So here we need to enter the space we want in megabytes. I want 200GB space for the new partition which is 200,000 MB. So I am going to enter that. Now if you click shrink, you can see that a new unallocated space has been created here. Once you have reduced the size of the C drive, now if we go into the file explorer, you can see that the size of the C drive has been reduced. But we still haven't got our new partition. So to get a new partition, let's go back to disk management. And now we need to make this unallocated space into a new partition. So to do that, let's right click here. Then click new simple volume. And you will get this pop up. Now just click next and again click next. And here you can select the drive letter you want to assign for the new partition. So just click here and select the drive letter you want. I am going to choose the letter D. Then click next. And in this field, you can enter the name of the partition. I am going to leave it as it is. Now click next and click finish. You can see that the new partition has been successfully created with the drive letter we selected. So if we go to file explorer, here you can see the new partition that we created. Now if you want to create more partitions, you can just shrink the D drive and then create new partitions. Okay, now you can start using the new partition which you just created. So let's say you want to move a file from C drive to D drive. All you have to do is just double click on the C drive. And you can see the files which we have on the C drive. Now if you want to move this file to the D drive, 
Just right click on the file, click copy, then click here and double click on the D drive. As you can see, there are no files on the D drive. Now let's paste the file which we have copied from the C drive. So this is how you can move a file from the C drive to the D drive. Now you know how to create a new partition on your Windows computer. Now in the future, let's say you don't want this partition and you want to delete it and add the space back to the C drive. How will you do it? So next, let's see how we can delete the partition. After deleting the partition, the folders and files stored on that partition will be deleted. So make sure you take a backup of your data before deleting the partition. Now to delete the partition, let's go to computer management, then right click on the partition, click delete volume and then click yes. As you can see, the new partition has been successfully deleted and this space is unallocated. So if you want to use this space, you can add the space back to the C drive. So next, let's see how we can add the space back to our C drive. To do that, right click on the C drive, click extend volume, then you will get this window. Now click next, again click next and then finally click finish. As you can see, the unallocated space has been added to the C drive. So this is how you can delete the partition and add the space back to the C drive. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can create a partition in Windows 10. Now, like I mentioned before, this video is not sponsored, but it is supported by those of you guys who have purchased our courses and our ready-made website templates in MakeAWP. We built this platform where anyone can launch their dream website in just one click. So instead of spending hours and hours setting up your website and getting it to work, you can simply choose our templates and start putting your website into action in no time. You can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description. Okay, now let's say you're facing high disk usage on your computer and it's saying 100% disk usage like this. If you want to fix this issue, you can watch this video. Also make sure you click the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.